give you some words of motivation, words of inspiration and encouragement. You better listen. You better listen. You better listen with your heart. I always say, people say, listen with your ears. That's like you listen with your heart. Because the heart is your love center. That's where it starts with the creed of the love. That love in your heart, it starts blossoming. It starts turning over some wheels. And it starts opening your eyes and your understanding to your higher grade of conscious self, your soul consciousness. So these words of motivation and inspiration and encouragement, if you really listen with your heart, it's going to change some situations about how you feel about yourself, your life, the places that you are right now and places you want to go because it's going to show you how you can change it, how you can change yourself in any circumstances that may be in your life. So let's, let's, let's talk about it. Oh, uh, let me see. Number one, I don't, know if, I don't know if I'm going to say number one, but I'm going to say your time is limited and you got to know that. So don't waste your time living somebody else's life. And you might have to go back because I'm not going to keep repeating them over and over again. Go back and got to keep replaying this. I'm going to repeat the first one again. Your time is limited. So don't waste it living someone else's life. And I can say behind that, you got to be you. You got to become your be me. Let me go to the next one. You have the capacity to leave a lasting impact, an indelible impression upon this world. You got to claim those sacred spaces of your mind, nurture and cultivate a vision of fulfillment, and then move toward that destiny with patience, perseverance, and with prayer. The next one is, Nothing will work unless you do the work. And to go to the next one, we'll say, don't let the fear of losing be greater than the excitement of winning. These are just some uh, and very encouraging, motivating words to inspire you to change your life and how you can do it. I'm telling you what these words are here, okay? Let me give you another one. The best years of your life are the ones in which you decide your problems are your own. You do not blame them on your mother, your friends, your job, your co-workers, the ecology, or even the president. They're your own. You got to start owning them. They, they, these are my problems. And then you realize that you control your own destiny. Okay? And let's go to the next one. If you don't value your time, neither will others. Stop giving away your time and talents to other people. Value what you know and then start charging for it. That's how you create your own business. You value what you know. You take all that wisdom and all that insight and all that knowledge and wisdom that the creator of God has given you and you turn it around for some dollars. You start making some money. But you can charge people. You can definitely, definitely become your own boss. <laughs> and so I'm going to give you another one. Embrace what you don't know, especially in the beginning, because what you don't know can become your greatest asset. It ensures that you will absolutely be doing things different from everybody else. Here's another one. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. And go to the another one. It said, what other people label or might try to call failure? I have learned... That is just the creator's way of pointing you into a new direction. Wow. Wow. The next one. From what we get, we can make a living. What we give, however, makes a life. And another one. Don't wait. 
The time will never be just right. You do it now and you do it afraid. The, another one says, change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. Here's another one. There's a tremendous bias against taking risk. Everyone is trying to optimize their ass covering. <laughs> you got that one. Okay, let's go to another one. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Okay, another one. To be certain, every day there can be a revelation or a new discovery. I treasure the memory of the past misfortunes. It has added more to my bank of fortitude. Another one. You discover your world and then with all your heart and you give yourself to it. Another one. Happiness is not something you postpone for the future. It is something you design for the present. Okay? I hope y'all getting this. This is, this is serious. This is real. This is real. This will work if you put your mind to believe it and, and you really work at this every day, guys. So let's go on to the, uh, to the next. Uh, uh, well, I'm sorry. Let's go on to the next one. Fearlessness is like a muscle. I know from my own life that the one more I, yeah, yeah. I know from my own life that the more that I exercise it, the more natural it becomes to not let my fears run me. And I, let me say that again. Listen to this again. Fearlessness is like a muscle. I know from my own life that the more I exercise it, the more natural it becomes to not let my fears run me. You got to like that one. And the next one said, never be ashamed. There is some who will hold it against you, but they are not worth bothering you. Okay, let's go on. When you have a dream, you have got to grab it and never let go. Okay, next one. In real life, the act of creation is defiant death. I think it's just that dumb and simple. Let's go to the next one. If you truly love life, then don't waste it. Because time is what life is made of. And the next one says, success is empty if you arrive at the finish line alone. <laughs> the best reward is to get there surrounded by winners. Another one says, dwell on the beauty of life. Watch the stars and see yourself running with them. And I think that is so cool. And cool. You need to hear that again. You need to hear that again. Success is empty if you arrive at the finish line alone. The best reward is to get there surrounded by winners. Then, this is one that I think is so amazing. Dwell on the beauty of life. Watch the stars and see yourself running with them. And here is the one more here. In the real world, the smartest people are people who make mistakes and learn. In school, the smartest people don't make mistakes. Okay, here's another one. Hope you guys are getting this. If you always put limits on everything you do, physical or anything else, it will spread into your work and into your life. There are no limits. There are no plateaus and you must not stay there. You must go beyond them. And another one, 20 years from now, 
you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bold ties, throw off the bold lines, throw all that junk off the way. And then you sail away from the safe harbor. You catch the trade winds in your sails. Explore, dream, and discover. Life is out there. And the only way that you're going to catch it is you got to keep sailing in the direction that your dream is calling you. And one more. I think this is going to be the last one. Like the wind that carries one ship east and another ship west, the law of auto-suggestion will lift you up and pull you down according to the way that you set your sails of thought. And on that further note, I'm going to say to you guys, meditate on that. Meditate on that. Meditate. And you put yourself in that position where you had to make your mind come in agreement with your thoughts. And you got to tell your mind that you are greater than your thoughts. Your creator, your God is greater than any situation, any circumstances. Nothing by no means can hold me down. I'm not allowing negativity. I'm not allowing my ego. I'm not allowing negative friends and, and, and miserable things that happens around me or people try to bring in my life. I'm not allowing in those things because I'm not giving permission for those things to even to show up in my life anymore and you gotta take the sail and you gotta put it out there and you grab hold to your boat and you better sail yourself up that screen and you better get to your higher greater self because as long as you keep playing down into your ego to your lower self-conscious state of being Playing with the ego with all the negativity with all the fear with all the doubt with all the hopelessness and all the helpless helplessness feelings and you around there and you just not trying to do anything and you, but you living every day getting up doing the same thing and you're miserable and you're crying and you're hurting and you feel like you can't get it through another day because it's just taking everything out of you to be able to get up to even move into those things I know I'm talking to me. Destiny, you in the wrong place. People, you in the wrong place. You're doing the wrong things. This is not what you were created to be or created to do. And if you're miserable and you, do, you don't like those things, you don't like the circumstances, you don't like who you are, you don't like who you'll become, you don't like being around you, you don't even love yourself no more, change it. Change it. Change you. Change any circumstances that no longer serve you you that no longer bring you joy love peace and light change it you have the power within you now you go back and you take every one of those positive motivations those positive affirmations and everything that i just spoke go back and listen to it again and again and again and again because once you listen to anything for 21 days consistently and I use it go right back for another 21 days and I'll listen to it again and go right back when that 21 days is over and I'll listen to it another 21 days. I'll keep listening over and over again because I want this thing to grow inside of me. What I want, I'm going to keep playing it until it gets down to me and start manifesting itself. And I got to see some things start working. So I'll, I'll just advise you to do the same. At 21 days, it didn't seem like I got it in that 21 days, then I'm going to do it another 21 days. And then I didn't get it that 21 days, then I'm going to get it another one. Just keep doing it. But when you're doing it, the key is you got to believe it. You got to believe this is what you really are manifesting, and you got to believe it is. it has the power to manifest itself. You got to see it before you can believe it. You got to have your hands on I'm serious. People get out there and they speak a lot of things. They speak a lot of a positive affirmations they say it out of their mouth but they don't see it from the cut intuition the power within them, within them they just say i'm speaking it but you're not in agreement you're not walking in it you're not feeling it you, you don't see yourself holding it like it's already there you gotta see it before you can believe it you gotta hold it anything that you can hold you can own it i'm finished guys 
So let me say this here. Remember, we can always do something. We are not rooted there like a tree. So if you don't like where you are, then change it. And remember, you are not a tree. Guys, on that further note, I'm done. And forgive me for my shortcomings. I make mistakes. I make mistakes. I fall on the wayside sometimes. And, you know, I get caught up into the system sometimes and in an environment around native people. Sometimes I just feel at a low place. I feel at a place of hurt. I feel at a place of fear sometimes. And I fall into that place where I'm nagging and I'm complaining and I'm whining about things. And I know that I have the power within me, but I'm not changing the circumstances. I'm not changing the situations. I'm not changing the people that I'm around or the places that I'm in that I don't like want to be in. And I'm not changing me by just keep out there promoting it and advertising it. I'm hurting and I'm mad. I'm upset. I'm not. I'm just creating more of what I am creating. A whole lot of negativity and I'm not going anywhere. As a matter of fact, I'm going down in a lower place. So on that further note, I have the power to change me, to change any circumstances, any situation, because my creator, my creator, who you call God, your God, your creator, is greater than all our problems, is greater than all our situations, and all our circumstances. You have the power to change you. You have the power to change it. You have the power to change any situation, circumstances that you don't like. Guys, on that further note, guess what? Destiny came here and did what she had to say. I made my confession. I told you about myself. I only can tell you about my own life. I only, I only can change me. Nobody can't change me. Nobody can change you. You have to do that for yourself. And it has to come from a made-up mind. It has to come from a place of saying, enough is enough. I'm through with doing that. And I'm turning over a new leaf. And it's not like sitting out there making a New Year's resolution. Get past the New Year's resolution. They don't work if you don't line your mind up. We ride your brain and your mind to line up with what you want. And you got to plow at it every single day until you master it. Because most New Year's resolutions, they fall away alongside many months, two months, three months later down the road. You back doing the same old thing, living in the same old place of life, being miserable all over again. Practice is the, the, the place of becoming. And I did videos on that. I don't know, can't give you a name of the, all the titles, but becoming, becoming. You always want to become. You don't want just to become, to arrive at a place and that's it. I'm satisfied. I'm, I'm happy where I am. I, there is no more growth. No, you don't want to just become, just stop. This is it. I don't need to grow no further. I'm comfortable with what I am. I, I learned all I need to learn. No, you're always learning and ever growing into the truth. That is becoming. You're always moving to your greater and higher self. That is becoming. You're always gaining more knowledge and information because that is becoming. You're always growing to be your higher consciousness state of being because you're always becoming. That's all I got to say. You can change that. You can change your thoughts. You can change your patterns. You can change your negative forms. You can change your negative vibes. You can change your negative energy. You can change your stinking thinking and all your negativity that you walk around with there all day long and hold on to it. You can change it all. Most of all, you got to first change you. I love you guys. And I will see you at the next video. Get this, get this, get this, because this is very serious. And you want to know how you want to make this new year of 2020 to work? Then you put these prices into work right now. Put them into action right now. And like I said, anything you do for 21 days, it says it becomes a habit. And if you don't think you got it in that first 21 days, hey, go take another 21 days. If you didn't get it the next time, go back and do another 21 days. You keep doing it. I've been doing this uh, affirmation now for probably about six months or more. Every day I do the same thing. Because that first time I did it, it was okay. But as I kept doing it more and more and more and more, it grew inside of me. I became it. I mastered it. And it worked. It changed my health. 
It changed my life. It changed my situation, my circumstances that I was in at that point. I was suffering. I was in miserable pain. I was in horrible, frightened pain. But I kept playing this health affirmation over and over again. And every day I make that my habit. And that's who I am. Healthy, wholesome, healthy, and complete. And that's destiny. Guys, I'm out of here. I see you at the next video. Next video. Next video. I see you at the next video. Get this, please. Comment in the box below. Tell me what you think. And if you work on these things and it's working, then hook me up. Hit me in the comment box. And Destiny, yes, this is working. I've done this. Share some things that I may have not shared with you. Help each other. Let us grow. Grow into this together, okay? Let's get serious. It's time to really take a serious change. And we got to take that change by taking the power that Creator put in us so we can live our greater and wholesome and healthy self. The power is within you to change anything that you want to change in your life, even yourself. Namaste and good night.